my channel. So for today's reading, I wanted to pull cards and connect to the energy of Cardi B and her feelings for Nicki Minaj. So let's jump right into it. Thank you so much, Spirit. Show us the energy of Alcalis Alamanzar and her feelings towards Onika Miraj. Thank you so much. Give us the energy into Alcalis Alamanzar and her feelings and energy towards Onika Miraj. Thank you so much, Spirit. Show us how does Cardi B feel about Nicki Minaj, Spirit. Thank you so much. Alcalis Amanzar, Onika Mirage. Thank you. What are Cardi B's feelings towards Nicki Minaj? Okay, this came out. Page of Wands, Spirit. Give us some more energy towards... I feel like this Page of Wands is like... <laughs> She'd be distracted by Nikki. That's what I feel like with this page of wands because it's in reverse. It may look upright to y'all, but it's in, re in reverse on my side. So Spirit, what else do we have as it relates to Cardi B and her feelings, energy into Nicki Minaj? How does she feel about Nicki Minaj? Thank you so much. Three of Swords. Knight of Wands. Spirit, give us some more. Two of Swords. Spirit, give us some more. And two, how does Cardi B feel about Nicki Minaj? Thank you so much. Mm, this is interesting. One last card, Spirit. All right, so we have the Page of Wands in reverse, Three of Swords in reverse, Knight of Wands, Two of Swords in reverse, Five of Cups, the Fool in reverse, the Wheel in reverse, and the Ten of Swords. So I feel like she feel a little hurt by Nikki in it for whatever way. Um, this Page of Wands in reverse, like I said, is definitely something that she's distracted by. The Three of Swords is some sort of... I don't know why I just heard industry. Industry pain? I, I'm not even sure why I just heard that. Okay, so there's some... Some pain she feels maybe from the industry as it relates to Nikki. Um, we also have the Knight of Wands and the Two of Swords. So it's like, I feel like there's energy here because we all know that they're not cool or tight or anything like that. There's always this. And, you know, they had that fight at some point many years ago. I don't know where or when that was, but I do remember that. Um... So this two of swords is like wanting to like talk or have a conversation or wanting to address something, but not being able to, okay, or avoiding it. We also have the five of cups. So there's like, there's regret with how I feel like there's regret on Cardi's side with either her actions or her feelings or emotions as it relates to Nicki Minaj. And I just did mention that fight. So maybe there's something with that. It wasn't really a fight, but whatever that altercation was that they had at that award ceremony, maybe she's regretful about that, okay? If this is something that happened five years ago or something like that, this could be that energy, okay, with this five of cups. She could be re regretful about that decision and possibly a little bit disappointed in herself. We also have the full card here. So I feel like there's something here with wanting things to go in a different direction in a different way, as well as the wheel card being here as well in reverse. I feel like Cardi wanted something to go in a different direction or in a different way with between her and Nikki. But the Ten of Swords here indicates an ending, okay? Things had to end because... Or things had to just complete themselves because something just wasn't right. The energy, the energy just wasn't right, okay? So like I said, I feel like she's regretful for possibly how she reacted or her emotions towards Nikki. Um, things she's possibly said towards Nikki. Okay, like I said, if this is something that happened between them five years ago, this could be, this could be why this five of cups, the cups is here. Um, Ten of swords as well. I don't know if this has been a history that between them that's been going on maybe for over a decade with this Ten of Swords. Um, Spirit, give us some more into Cardi B's feelings. What what are Cardi B's feelings as it relates to the industry and Nicki Minaj? Okay, because I did hear that. So let's see, Spirit. Show us Cardi B's feelings as it relates to the industry and Nicki Minaj. Thank you so much. Show us Cardi B's feelings as it relates to the industry, the music industry, and Nicki Minaj. Spirit, thank you so much. Two, 
three. Let's see. Eight of Wands. Spirit, give us one more. Thank you. I don't know why I just heard backed in a corner. So there's something here with this Eight of Wands. Okay, the Eight of Wands star and the Seven of Pentacles. What was she waiting for, Spirit? Give us some more. She, it, seemed like, it seemed like Cardi B was waiting for something because the Eight of Wands is here. So this is something, this is some sort of directed action that I feel like was coming towards Cardi or maybe that was something that was happening in the industry. Okay, but the star card is here. So it, there's a lack of confidence and with whatever this was with the star card here because it's in reverse. So there's a lack of hope or faith in, there's a lack of hope or faith in either a project this eight of wands spirit spirit clarify more okay let's spirit show me why this eight of wands is here because i feel like she was waiting for something as well with the seven of pentacles here in reverse spirit show us why this eight of wands is here the death and rebirth card transformation she waiting for something to start over who is the scorpio there's a scorpio around cardi i'm not sure who's this energy is but there is a scorpio closely connected to her a male scorpio spirit clarify the star i don't know if there's someone on her management team clarify the star whatever was this directed action that was coming towards her maybe they thought oh gosh i feel like i'm, I'm speaking like Everyone in this industry, because they talk about how, or the rumor is how Cardi was going to take over Nikki's place. Something, I feel I should look into that situation more. Spirit, show us why this star card is here. I feel like there's something here with wanting and out, but I'm not exactly sure where that energy stems from. Spirit, clarify the star. Four of Pentacles. Something got out of control with the Four of Pentacles. Spirit, clarify the Seven of Pentacles. And the lovers here in reverse. Uh, what was this about? I don't know. Did this have to do with like Cardi's relationship? I, I'm not sure. We got a King of Cups on the bottom as well. So if it's not a Scorpio, I feel like there's some male energy around Cardi, whether it's a Pisces or a Cancer or a Scorpio, that may have had their hand into what, yeah, look, we got the Three of Cups on the bottom, okay, third party energy. Someone else was like, I'm hearing puppeteering, okay, so someone else was like puppeteering or controlling okay we also have this four of pentacles controlling the energy or the narrative as it relates to cardi b as and as it relates to Nicki minaj okay i feel like who who produced her last album who produced her last album okay i don't know why there's something here about, and my ear is ringing, so I know there's something here. Whoever this, if it's a producer or someone along those lines who had a hand, possibly even an earth sign, whoever this is, or her, or her album dropped during an earth season, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, whatever the case may be, I'm getting drawn to September energy as well. This person was trying to control Cardi. Okay, maybe this was also a past lover. This is why the, the, the lovers is here in reverse rather than upright. Okay, whoever this was was trying to control Cardi or possibly... I'm getting like manipulation energy. I, I really am getting manipulation energy. Spirit, what is this energy? Who is this person? Okay, Spirit, who is this person? Oh, this card just want to come out. We have the sun card that came. Maybe someone born on the 19th. Spirit, give us the energy. Possible Leo energy as well. Ten of Pentacles. Someone she is definitely close 
or was close with familial energy spirit give me one last card about who this person is that's around cardi that may have had a hand in some of the situations that transpired between her and nikki spirit thank you so much esc nine of swords There's regret about some of Cardi's dealings as it relates to Nikki. Okay, I'm just going to say it like that. Like, okay, I, I'm hearing a couple things right now. So I just want to listen to what I'm hearing for one second, y'all. Just bear with me. I'm hearing Cardi saying to someone, like, why would you put me in this situation? She, I'm literally hearing this how Cardi talks to, like, she's saying, why are you putting me in this situation? You got me out here looking like a clown. I trusted you, like, you were supposed to be my partner, my rider. I, I listened to you, and this is what you told me to do. Like, something along those lines, like, and when she's saying this, this isn't, like, the way Cardi's saying this, oh man, the way she's saying this, she's hurt and I'm feeling it. Oh my gosh, she's so hurt. This is another reason why this Nine of Swords is here. I think she thinks about it a lot as well. She's regretful. I don't know who this person is that was around her. I hope she's still not communicating with this person because clearly they put her in a situation where... She wasn't in her right mind, okay? That's another reason why this Nine of Swords is here. She wasn't in her right mind. Cardi may also be suffering from maybe some anxiety or depression as well with this Nine of Swords. She might have some, some disorder. I don't want to say that like it's a bad thing, but she could have some sort of disorder that may just mess with her mind mentally, okay? Um... But Cardi is really hurt about whoever this person was and what happened between her and Nikki. <sighs> All right, Spirit, show us what does she want to say to Nicki Minaj? Is there anything Cardi B wants to say to Nicki Minaj, Spirit? Is there anything Cardi B wants to say to Nicki Minaj? Thank you so much. Is there anything Cardi B wants to say or share as it relates to Nicki Minaj. Thank you so much. Woo! Oh my God, we got the Eight of Pentacles that came out. That's what I thought. I feel like if Cardi ever does say anything to Nicki Minaj, it's gonna come through her body of work. Now, how would this come out in her body of work? Spirit, give us some give us some more. What else would Cardi B say to Nicki Minaj? What does she want to say or share with Nicki Minaj? Because again, this could be through a song if she ever wanted to say anything. Okay, through a specific lyric. Spirit, show us what does Cardi B, if anything, what does Cardi B want to say to Nicki Minaj? Thank you so much. Here we go with this King of Cups again. Mm. she wants to make peace with the past like i feel like if she does say anything okay look we got the page of pentacles right here as well and look the seven of swords in reverse okay i'm telling y'all cardi is definitely a little bit regretful about what happened between her and nikki and this is why i wanted to do this reading because some time has passed since that whole altercation again i don't know when that happened but it popped in my head a little while ago like a couple weeks ago and i was like dang i forgot that happened between them like that's crazy so thinking back to it now i feel like she definitely is a little bit regretful and this page of pentacles and this seven of swords as well it's like cardi deceived herself by allowing this to happen and she she feels some type of way, okay? And I feel like she's trying to manifest or manifest something different, but that that's hard to do given things Cardi has said, you know, things that have been done, etc. 
Okay, so with the, the King of Cups here and the Six of Cups, it's like I want to find a way to bring peace, you know, tranquility, um, you know, forgiveness as well with this King of Cups for the things that happened in the past, okay? And I feel like if she does, she might, I feel like Cardi will say this. Some people might not like it, but I feel like at some point, Cardi will just say what she got to say. And I feel like she's going to say it either through a song or something like that. It might not even be her song. It might be just her hopping on someone else's song. But I feel like at some point, Cardi's not even going to, Cardi won't throw shade. I really don't think so. I really don't think, I feel like she's going to say something, one, two bar, in a way that's going to indicate that she's either no longer hurt or that she's sorry or this is her way of apologizing or this is her way of being like yo i was wrong and i fuck with nikki or something like that or i was wrong but i respect nikki or something along those lines because i mean at the end of the day <laughs> listen some of y'all may not respect nikki and that's on y'all okay i like nikki and i like cardi I don't listen to neither one of them, okay? I, they are not in any of my playlists. I respect both of them as individual artists, rappers, and female inter entertainers as female artists, okay? I used to listen to Cardi way back in the day, back during her mixtape days, before she was even hot, before she was even on love, love and Hip Hop. Like, I used to really fuck with Cardi back in the day, but I fell off of that for my own personal reasons. And I never really jumped on to Nicki's music like that, except for, of course, Young Money and certain tracks that she was a part of. But I'm never one to be like, oh, let me listen to Cardi, let me listen to Nicki. That's, I, I'm not that person. So I say all that to say, from my perspective and just what I'm feeling with this, you know, Cardi has done a lot of growth, okay? She, she's got married, she's had kids, she's come a long way. And coming a long way, you got to be humble to some of your situations and mistakes you've made along the way. And I feel like some of the way she handled the pressure when it came to Nikki was not the best. Like I said, oh, I don't even know what I did. Oh, here it is, the Seven of Swords. Like I was saying with the Seven of Swords, she deceived herself into thinking something else. And she's regretful. And I feel like at some point, at some moment in time, she may say something in her music, okay, with the Eight of Pentacles here. She may say something with her music, with her craft, as a means to, like, not dead the situation, but, like I said, show some sort of respect or show some sort of, like, dang, I was wrong, you know. Not like I was wrong and Nikki was right, but I was wrong for putting myself in the situation. Her saying this honestly really don't have nothing to do with Nikki. It's more so Cardi B saying this as a means to bring peace to herself, okay? Because like I said, when I whatever I was tapping into before, Cardi was hurt, y'all. I borderline want to cry. Like, Cardi was really hurt, okay? So let's see, Spirit. Just give us a few more cards to wrap up this energy of how Cardi B feels towards Nikki. Thank you so much for these messages, Spirit. Give us the energy of how Cardi B feels for Nikki. Give us two cards, Spirit. Thank you so much. Ooh. All right, we got three. Yeah, King of Swords, Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Absolutely. Okay, I feel like this speaks to the fact from a mental perspective. Clarity, she wants clarity and peace around her. She wants harmony. She wants the situation to be peaceful more than anything, okay? And I feel like... I'm hearing something about no animosity. I'm also hearing something about the wisdom that she's been able to receive from this situation as well with this King of Swords and also being able to look at this situation from a different lens. There's also a King of Swords around her. I'm not sure who, I, I don't know why I'm hearing Libra, but there could be a Libra around her as well, okay? Or, um... An Aquarius or a Gemini as well, okay? But there's an air sign around her that has really opened her mind to a different perspective, two things in two situations, especially 
especially how it relates to her emotions and also how it relates to her family and just how she communicates, okay? How she communicates and how she speaks, okay? Ace of Swords here as well, it's the same thing. It's the breaking through that mold, breaking through that barrier and seeing things from a different lens and seeing things from a different perspective and wanting to elevate and go higher with your thought process and et cetera, et cetera, okay? So that's what we have in reference to how Cardi B feels about Nikki. I may do a reading about how Nikki feels towards Cardi, but I just wanted to tap into that just to see what was going to come out in this energy. And that, this was a lot. This was definitely interesting. And I do want to take more, I probably will take a look more into that whole fight situation, whatever that was. I'm going to tap into that to see if Spirit can tell us more about that situation as well and how that even transpired in the way it did okay so let me know what you guys think and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you later bye